Did you need something, Ambassador? Yes. Well, not precisely, but... I should like to know if anyone here has treated you unkindly, Hermit, for being an elf. I can deal with a few whispers and sideways looks. I shall speak with the staff regarding such conduct. If we're to convince the world that Andrastis Herald is an elf, the Inquisition must give you its utmost support. Stories of wild Dalish elves have grown even more outrageous as people learn of you. How have the rumors gotten worse? I would prefer not to repeat them. Give me something. Stealing children, selling peasants to slavers, burning down villages, using infants for blood magic. Those are the stories about your fellow Dalish. I won't repeat what they've said about you. Isn't the magic just as much a problem as my ears? It depends which way the wind is blowing. Magic is meant to serve man, the chant teaches. Close the breach, and we can claim that is why Andraste chose you. Hopefully, it will be enough to replace this gossip about the Dalish. The humans telling those tales are the first to take a knife to someone with pointed ears. My clan's defended ourselves against them more times than I can count. Really? I had no idea. I will do what I can to end this slander, Herald. It may help if I know more about how you and your clan lived. The best part was when the Aravel, our wagons, turned from the plains to the woods. I used to spend weeks exploring the forest. You make it sound idyllic. Haven is so far away from home. You must miss the people of your clan. If I'd never left home, Josephine, I would never have met you. That would be the greater tragedy. What? Oh, really? There is more to this, Mistress Levellen. Whatever comes, your role as Andraste's herald will mark your clan in history. Elves have been swept under the rug, or worse, rarely acknowledged as a part of this world. This is our chance to be a force no one can ignore. History should look out. I believe you will succeed. Thank you for your time, Herald.